Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class A diesel motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Today we're looking at a 2003 Newmar Country Star. This is the model number 3904. Got a lot of neat options. It's a diesel pusher motorhome, folks. Low mileage, washer dryer. This thing's loaded. Uh, 40, it's 39 feet long with three slide outs and you can see right away it's got the very expensive optional full body paint which was an option in 2003 for the country stars uh, triple slides uh, it's got the optional door awning got the optional 8000 watt upgrade power tech diesel generator got the optional alloy wheels a 22 and a half inch alloy wheels Built on a Freightliner chassis with a 330 horsepower Caterpillar turbo diesel with 860 pound-feet of torque, which, you know, plenty of power for this motorhome. If you want to run 75, 80 miles an hour, this will do it, no problem. Generator's running right now. That is extremely quiet. Your slide outs that are not underneath the awning have awning toppers. It's got window awnings. This thing's loaded with options, folks. Windshield looks great. It's only got 74,000 miles, which for a 14-year-old diesel motorhome is extremely low miles. And that's the benefit. That's why people buy diesels over gas burners anyway, folks. It's a longevity. You take care of this motorhome. Uh, you do all the service, any repairs it may need. This is something that will last you for decades if you take care of it and service it like you should. You can figure, I mean, literally never wear a diesel motor home out. That's why you pay more up front for a diesel, but you get what you paid for, and you get a motor home that will last and last and last. And that 8,000-watt diesel generator, same concept. You literally can't wear it out. Three slide outs. Beautiful motorhome. I mean, this thing, if you didn't know the year model, you would swear it was several, several years newer. Corners aren't beat up. Tires look great. It is a Four Seasons model. Good thing about that Freightliner chassis, folks, is that if you ever need service, you're never going to have a, uh, you'll, you will never find a diesel shop that can't work on a Freightliner. That's like an, a, st a standard automobile mechanic that can't work on a Ford. There's more Freightliner chassis out there than any other type of RV chassis. And of course, this is the new Mar new Mars reputation for quality and hard earned is, is second to none. People that own a new Mar will pretty much have nothing but a new Mar from now on. Got the Illumigard patio awning. The roof looks great. Tires look great. Got the Allison 3000 adaptive transmission, six speed automatic. Got the air brakes, air suspension. You know, this thing brand new, folks, in 2003, was uh, stickered for $170,000. But folks, if you want to buy a new Newmar, you couldn't even touch one for that now. This is how much prices have gone up on new RVs. Now a comfortably equipped triple slide Newmar diesel it's going to run you about $340,000 now. Almost double what this one cost you in 2003. But folks, this thing's only 64 an night. It includes a major systems check for my certified RV techs. And you're saving a ton of money. That's over $100,000 in savings over what this thing cost you in 03. And incredibly, $275,000 plus savings over what a brand new one will cost you now. And this thing has been well cared for, folks. Most people that spend this kind of money on a new motor home generally take very, very good care of it. Let's take a look inside this 3904. And I'm going to show you some of the stuff that wasn't standard. And I've, I've studied the factory brochure, so I know what's standard, what's not. And I strongly recommend, folks, anytime you see an RV, you've got a lot of interest in. And most of these are available. Download the factory brochure. Just use Google, and I always say Google's is an RV shopper's best friend for many reasons, but Google 2003 Newmar Country Star brochure, and, uh, and you can read and know everything I know about it, folks, and you can see what's standard, what's optional, and be your own judge about this RV. I uh, got the 
original electronic TV in it. The, it's a CRT, so it's got that. It's going to jump on screen, but it looks fine in person. And uh, it's a flat screen style TV, of course. Uh, windshield looks great. Dash looks great. You know, that's the thing. This has got that vinyl dash cover. And if they've ever had cats or dogs in here, uh, what you're going to see, because they love to sit up front, is you're going to see claw marks dug into the vinyl. It has none of that in this one. The seats look great. These are both the very expensive flex steel power captain's chairs that swivel for party seating. Up in the front, you've got, uh, of course, your control panel. It's got HWH hydraulic leveling jacks. It's got the optional Sony cassette with CD changer and amplifier. That's a factory system that was an upgrade uh, over, over standard equipment. Generator cranks from up here. It's got an uh, inverter built in for the TV. As you step back, original carpet, it looks good. And I've I don't think this is factory, folks. I don't remember Newmar having a, a linoleum floor like this, so I would assume that the previous owners in the last 14 years have added this. It looks like hardwood, but it's linoleum, and it looks great, folks, and it's easier to clean than carpet. So I've got a leather sleeper sofa that makes a bed. You've got a table and two chairs in the back closet. Brand new, still in the wrapper, never taken out of it, is a leaf for this table. And there's also two other matching chairs. So you can sit four people at this table if you want to. Uh, sofa makes a bed. You've got a really comfortable recliner. It's got a fold-up table. And remember, these seats swivel, so you can take that passenger seat. You can swivel it around and have eating service for two as well as four at the main table. And it also has a step cover that goes right here as well. Uh, for the passenger, but folks, just look how listen how quiet that PowerTech generator is. I honestly believe that PowerTech is quieter than the Onan, and it is an 8kW diesel, so it's a little bit bigger than the Onan. Um, roof looks great, headliner looks great. Got the carpeted headliner, uh, fluorescent lighting. It's got two ice cold ducted roof airs that are working great. Now, folks, the only option they really didn't go with, and, and, and be honest with you, I've got this same size fridge in my personal motor home, and, and it's perfect for me. They put the 8 cubic foot, which is a standard size refrigerator. It works great, too, by the way. And it's got a built-in ice maker. But here's the thing. You can put a bigger refrigerator in here, but look at what you're going to lose. All this pantry space uh, with the slide-out drawers and cabinets, now, you can put a bigger refrigerator, folks, but coming from experience, you know, unless you're going to be full-timing or living in this thing on the road, that is all you need. See, me and my wife, we love to cook. We cook a lot of stuff. We don't freeze a lot of stuff because we prefer to buy meat and stuff like that fresh and cook it the same day we buy it when possible. So a big fridge is something that we don't really have a, much of a need for. So ours is the same size as this, and it suits us perfectly. Now, you know, if you're going to full-time, you're going to freeze a lot of food to eat later, stuff like that. Yeah, I could see getting the bigger fridge, but uh, or that, or just putting a, a chest freezer in one of your outside compartments, or in here. I mean, there's other ways to do it, but, um, but be honest with you folks. I mean, they make outside refrigerators and freezers. You can, you, can, you can add to this later on if you wanted to, if you didn't want to lose your pantry. Me, personally, I would rather have all this extra dry food storage. As a cook, I guess, I, that, that right there it would, would benefit me more than having the bigger fridge. But, you know, you may be entirely different. And notice how these cabinets are finished out. They're not just leaned up against the wall. Um, and here's all your electronics. I'll let my camera focus here. What I was talking about, it's got this uh, 10 disc changer. It's got the amplifier for the stereo in the front. Of course, all the books and manuals are here. I've got, I even printed out, just like I was talking about, you go online. Look here, folks. Factory brochure. I just found it online, a 30-second Google search, and printed it out. Got real Corian countertops, solid wood cabinets. It, this is an upgrade, too, folks. They call it the attic fan if you look in the, um, if you look in the factory brochure, but it's a fantastic vent fan. It's got a rain sensor in case you leave it open, it starts raining, it closes itself. 
and it's got an automatic thermostat. So when you're storing this RV, if the temperature gets to a certain degree, it will automatically open and um, vent the hot air out and then close when it gets to a certain temperature inside. Got the etched glass front, really nice walkthrough bathroom. You, know, you got a big shower right here. Skylight, and you can look around that. There's no water stains, no water marks. You always want to look around your skylight, folks, because if a roof hasn't been properly maintained, that's the first place they're going to leak. You're going to see water stains, mold, mildew, and or wrinkled spots, and there is none of that up there. And you can see the shower looks great. Got another sh uh, nice little linen closet right here. Uh, notice you've got solid sliding privacy doors so you can separate the bedroom from the bathroom. And you've also got another set of them right here so you can completely isolate the bathroom from the rest of the RV or isolate the bedroom and bathroom from the rest of the RV so you've got all this room to get ready in. The bathroom, you've got a porcelain Sealand toilet, which is a great upgrade. Another fantastic vent fan. Again, folks, you can look around it. There's no water stains. Matching Corian sink. You know, a lot of RV manufacturers will put Corian in the front or marble. Then they'll cheap out and just put a regular composite countertop in the bathroom, but not, not Newmar. Got a medicine cabinet lighting. And as we step to the back, You've got a Queen Island East-West walk-around bed. Still got the original factory bed cover that matches everything perfectly. Got the nice beveled glass behind the headboard. Storage, not his and her nightstands. You've got another sink in here with a matching Corian top again. Medicine, another medicine cabinet. You've got a TV. Uh, of course, like I said, the closet's got your extra uh, leaf and chairs. And it's got a washer and dryer combo. And it, that air is cold because it's 90 degrees outside right now. And it's nice and chilly in here. I wish I'd thought to bring my little digital thermometer. But uh, I can promise you, personally guarantee you, these airs are ice cold. Folks, this is a nice unit. It's 64 9 That's a haggle-free price. It includes a major systems check by our certified RV techs. And the um, way it works is, folks, you know, we, we try to keep our prices lower than anybody else on the Internet. And like I said, Google's your best friend. As far as shopping for an RV, you can you can Google 2003 Country Star 3904 diesel pusher, and you can literally see every single one in the United States and how much they're asking for it. And you can compare mileage, you can compare condition. Do they include a checkout? Ours does. Um, and does it include any extra fees, like dock fees, prep fees, dealer fees, all that other junk? Well, folks, we don't charge those fees. So that's a haggle-free price, but it's also out the door. Plus sales tax if you're a Georgia resident. All out-of-state residents will pay their sales tax when they tag and title this motor home in their home state or local DMV office. You get a 45-day temporary tag at no extra charge good anywhere in the United States and more. And the way it works, folks, to keep our overhead down, which in turn keeps our prices down, uh, we don't check these units out until we sell them. Because, let's be honest with you folks, we have 170 used RVs out here. If, if I had to check every single one of those RVs out, I'd have to hire 20 plus RV techs, and those guys are not cheap if you could find that many. And they would spend, it would take them weeks and weeks and weeks to check all those units out to get them ready. And that's going to take a lot of money to do all that. And when I have to spend more money to sell them, that means I have to mark my prices up to, to overcome that. You know, it's kind of the concept. The higher the overhead, the higher the prices. We keep our overhead down, so it keeps our prices down. We sell nice, clean RVs. We've been doing this for 49-plus years. We're, we're the, one of the oldest, largest, and most successful independently-owned used RV dealerships in the country today. And we sell anywhere from five to 600 used units a year because of our prices. So we're obviously doing something right. But the way we do it, folks, is after you purchase this RV, um, it's going to go into line in our shop, or queue is what we call it. And once it gets into the shop, uh, once it gets to its place in line, there may be two in front of it, there may be five in front of it, there may be 20 in front of it. Just depends on when you buy it and what the current workload is in the shop. 
And this is what I recommend everybody to do before you buy this motorhome on eBay, before you buy it on RV Trader, or any of the other 20 plus different websites I advertise on. And yes, folks, I'm all over the internet. Uh, what you want to do is to call and talk to one of my non commissioned salespeople. They'll be more than happy to email you a list of what we check out and repair if needed for the price you pay. And they will also be happy to give you current lead time for a class A diesel checkout. You know, this one right here, I don't, I'm not really worried about because we just drove it in 500 miles. So we know the running and driving's good. The, the generator cranked right up, refrigerator's cold, the airs are cold, the lights are on. There's, there's one light on right off that I can't figure out how to turn it on. And it's probably just got a switch somewhere you got to flip on. So I, I don't foresee this thing taking a lot of time to check it out. Um, of course, I'm no RV tech. I mean, sometimes these checkouts take a little longer than normal because parts, uh, a lot of times, as many of you know who've had RVs, parts, or sometimes take a little bit of a delay to get. I had to order a, a jack the other day from a major uh, jack manufacturer, the biggest in the world, and it was a four-week uh, delay getting that jack part uh, because they actually they didn't stock it. They had to build it and send it to us. So that took a little bit longer than normal, but generally we try to get these things out just as quickly as possible but still be able to quality keep the quality up because, folks, this is a major investment for many of you. The, outside of your home, this is probably the most expensive vehicle you're ever going to purchase for many of you. So we want to make sure to get it out in a timely manner, but we want to get it out to where it's right. And trust me, when you get up here and you pick this thing up, you're going to see that it was well, well worth the wait. And that's why we want to check these things out, make sure they're right, make sure everything's good on it before you take it or we deliver it. Now, folks, you know, if, you, if you're handy with a toolbox and you know a lot about RVs, you may want to consider taking it as is, and we will discount the price, what the inspection cost us, but you literally are buying it, jumping in it, and taking off with it with no warranty, guarantee, or anything. So, you know, it's about 60 to 70% of the buyers take the, take the, uh, take the checkout, and about 30% take it as is. So it just depends on your particular skills and what kind of rush you're in to get it. But it's like I tell people, you can get it, you can get it right now or you can get it right. So uh, it's your choice. But this is a nice motor home. I think either way you go, you're, you're saving a lot of money. You're getting a nice clean motor home with a lot of life left to it. Um, all the books and manuals are included. I mean, this is, this is a neat rig. Three slide outs, a lot of room. And it's priced right. Like I said, there's a, still got the uh, stuff around the the, the uh, leaf for the table. And there's your extra chairs. You can see in here, it looks great. And you can see in here in the closet, you know, you always want to look at your corners on any used RV you buy. And you can see that there is no water damage whatsoever in the corners. Let me, let me try to get a little light on in here. You look around your washer and dryer hookups, it looks good. I mean, be honest with you folks, I, I'm not encouraging you to go one way or the other because I don't get paid to sell, but if I was going to take one as is, this, this would be a good candidate for it. But like I said, that's your decision, that's your call, that's a lot of money, and I want to make sure that you get what you want. 64.9 haggle free with the checkout and the walk you get a walk through by the, by the RV technician that checked it out as well he can answer anything and everything you want to know about the coach since he was the one that's been on it and these guys just don't spend an hour or two in these things it takes about two days of my RV techs in this thing to go through our checklist it's very extensive I strongly recommend anybody wanting to buy one from us to get a copy of that inspection and what it covers and what we repair if it doesn't work for the price that you pay. Now we don't cover cosmetics um, because let's be honest with you folks, these things are used and, and cosmetic imperfections is part of buying a 14 year old motor home. That's why you're saving a hundred something thousand dollars over what it costs new. Um, because it, let's be honest, if I have to make it new function, functionally and cosmetically, well, I'm gonna price it 170 something thousand dollars because I'm basically making it a new motor home. So any kind of like dings, dents, scratches, faded spots, worn places on the carpet, upholstery, interior, exterior, 
Folks, that's part of buying a used one. I, I don't cover that up. I don't tell you these things are new. They are used. It's like buying a 14-year-old home. It's not going to be as nice and clean as a brand new house. But you look at the money you're saving. Um, you're saving, this thing's a third of what it cost new back in 2003. And for that kind of savings, you know, you can put up with one or some, some cosmetic imperfections, believe me. And if you can't, folks, and the best thing to do is just buy a 2017 model, spend about 340000 if you can't deal with, with a few cosmetic imperfections. That's, that's my recommendation anyway. Thank you for watching. You know, we've been doing this a long time. We don't, we don't sugarcoat the truth. We don't haggle on our prices. We tell you what we do for the price that you pay, and our customers appreciate that. I don't have commissioned salespeople, and you're not going to find another lot out there with the inventory that we have that doesn't have commissioned salespeople. And that's another way we save you money, folks. You go to these big dealerships that use commissioned salespeople. Uh, it, 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 a commission salesperson, first of all, doesn't get paid by the hour. They don't get paid salary. They only get paid when they produce a sale. So this allows these big RV dealers to keep as many salespeople as they want. I mean, it doesn't cost them any more to keep five than it does to keep 50. And it allows them, uh, and the only way they can keep that many salespeople employed there, and they have a huge turnaround, by the way. I mean, they, you know, you, you might talk to somebody, then a week later they're gone somewhere else but um the way they keep that many people there is a promise of a huge reward when they do make a sale because my guys we sell one to four used units every single day we're open for business on average these guys at these other dealerships are lucky to sell one or two a month a piece so what they do is they get 25 percent of the gross profit as a commission and that's huge because, A, that means the dealer has to mark the unit up an additional 25% to cover the salesperson's commission. And, B, that means every extra dollar the salesperson gets you to pay is an extra 25 cents in their pocket. If you've got a trade-in, folks, and let's, I'm just throwing out numbers for an example. Let's say the, the trade-in value is 20 grand. They talk you into taking 15000 for it. Well, guess what? They get paid on commission on how far under market value they get you to take a trade-in. So... That's the extra $1,250 in their pocket. So it makes it hard to deal with somebody on a major purchase like this, knowing that they're out to get you every which way they can. You know, we're not like that here, folks. No commission salespeople, so that means no sales pressure. How many lots can you go to and pull into customer parking, get out and walk around and look at 170 plus used units with the prices on the windshield, everything open, without being escorted by a high pressure salesperson? I promise you, folks. We're the only one with the inventory that we have that you can do that. And you can look all you want. Nobody. I just talked to some people before I shot this video. They've been coming out here for three months looking. And they go to, only to us to look because they said everywhere else they want you to get pre-approved. They have a salesperson following you around, pressuring you. Here they said we're the only place that they can come look. And so when they find just the perfect one, they're going to buy it from us, folks, because of the way we operate. Uh, there's no games, no gimmicks, no surprises. You know what the price is before you come here. And um, we're going to take care of you, folks. We've been doing this for almost 50 years, decades worth of experience. My salespeople are very experienced. They're very friendly. You know, we've been doing this a while. We don't, you know, and keep in mind, because of that, we sell these things quickly. So this thing's going to be seen on 20 of the most popular websites in the country. It may be, it may not even be here this time tomorrow, folks. This video is going to have hundreds of views in the next 24 hours. I've got almost 5,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel and over 5 million video views. So keep in mind, these things sell quickly, and uh, thousands of people are going to see the ad on the various websites that we use. Uh, if you're interested, I strongly recommend calling us, making an appointment, making sure the unit's here, make sure there's no deposit on it before you come down here and, or drive from any significant distance. And yes, folks, we have sold to buyers from all 50 states, including multiple sales from buyers from Hawaii and Alaska. Thousands of RVs we've sent Canada, coast to coast. We've sent them England, Italy, Europe, it, uh, Australia, New Zealand, and other countries, folks, because of our prices. So. How, I don't care how far away you live, we're going to save you money. We have no fees, no dock fees, no prep fees, out-the-door pricing, simple, nice motor homes that are checked out, simple, easy, no stress, no games, no gimmicks. 
We've got RVs for anybody's budget, pretty much. If you want diesel motor homes, I've got tons of them. I've got them starting uh, with slide outs for under $30,000. I've got them all the way up to $160,000 in diesels and everything in between. You want gas burners? I've got gas burners with slide outs starting under 10 grand, all the way up to 60 or 70 grand and everything in between. So I've got something for everybody, folks. 170 used RVs. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Give us a call, 706 965 7929, evenings and Sundays, 423 605 6747. Website is parkwayrbcenter.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook, on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, we're all over the place, folks. Uh, we're on eBay, RV Trader, RVT, RV Oodle, and many, many more websites. And if your RV didn't come from us, folks, you paid too much. Financing available with approved credit. You can apply right from our website, and we can help you arrange nationwide delivery. And you just pay whatever it costs us to get this motor home to you and get my driver back home, not a dime more. Doesn't get any more simple than that, folks. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringo, Georgia.